हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ अश्विनी सवाल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द कोर्स दैट इज अ कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशन इन दिस कोर्स यू विल बी एबल टू लर्न अबाउट द बेसिक्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम एज वेल एज द एप्लीकेशन विच आर अवेलेबल इन द कंप्यूटर सिस्टम ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील सी द इंट्रोडक्शन टू द कंप्यूटर सिस्टम इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द टॉपिक्स विच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू गेट द नॉलेज अबाउट द कंप्यूटर सिस्टम so in this uh, we'll see first the definition of the computer system so the computer system is de defined as combination of components which are designed to process data and store files once we store a particular data in our computer then we can further just use that data we can read that data we can uh, make any kind of modification in the data as per the user's requirement Okay. then there are main three components in our uh, computer system in the figure you can see there is a user there is a software and the hardware okay these are the main three uh, components of the computer system without which that computer system cannot be fully functional this computer system is a collection of entities that is hardware software and the users that are designed to receive process manage and present information in a meaningful format that means if the user is giving any kind of request any kind of command to the computer system so that computer system has to receive that request that command and next it has to process that input and manage inside the computer system and then present the information that will be the output of the request from the user so that will be easily understandable by that user so that that particular output must be in a meaningful format okay next the components are elaborated that is the uh, first one is a computer hardware then software and the user so hardware are nothing but what these are the physical or we can say the tangible parts tangible that means we can feel that particular thing or we can touch that particular thing so these are hardware components of a computer for example the input devices like the uh, keyboard mouse output devices like the monitor speaker as well as the central processing unit and some storage devices which are what the computer hardware components next component is the software component so these are also known as the programs or applications that runs inside that computer system and which are intangible that means we can't touch those particular components of computer system next the very important component that is the user which is the user is uh, the one which sends the commands the instructions to the computer system to uh, process its request okay and then next we'll see the uh, what exactly the computer hardware is so hardware refers to the physical tangible com uh, computer equipment as well as the devices which provide support from major functions such as input then processing uh, the particular data or whatever the data is given by the user then output secondary storage and communication so in that input there will be some input devices that will provide the input to the computer system then computer system will process that data that request as per the requirements of the user then after processing that request the computer system will provide the output to the user then there are some secondary storage secondary storage like the cd dvd drive then pen drive these are what we can externally attach to that computer system okay that will store the data and some communication devices are also there which are part of the computer hardware in this figure we can see there are several computer hardware devices uh, few of you uh, few of these you might have already seen like the printer is there then portable media a player is there okay then uh, this uh, central processing unit in this the storage devices like this cd dvd drive then hard disk drive then there is a one a personal computer is given in which there is a monitor which is output device then webcam Uh, then there there are speakers okay then keyboards mouse then microphone then uh, there's um, pen drives card readers usb flash drives then modem which is also a communication drive so in this figure you can uh, find many examples of the computer hardware that that are mostly uh, most oftenly used by many computer users 
the computer hardware is a collective term which is used to describe any of the physical component of the computer so this term hardware which distinguishes itself in the tangible aspects of the computing devices from software so hardware and software these are totally different things hardware that means these are tangible or the physical things while software are the logical things which consist of a return machine readable instructions or the programs that tell the physical components what to do and when to execute the instructions so that means in that particular computer hardware there are some programs some uh, machine readable instructions which are already fitted into that computer hardware so that will process that input according to the request hardware and software these are complementary that means without uh, any one of these component the computer system can't be fully functional okay or it cannot be complete so computing device can function efficiently and produce useful output only when both hardware and software work together appropriately then only we can say that computer system is in a working process okay so computer hardware can be categorized as being either internal or external component generally these internal hardware components are those necessary for the proper functioning of the computer while the external hardware components are attached to the computer to add or enhance the functionality that means these internal hardware components are already there in your computer system while the external hardware devices we can attach to the computer system as per our requirement Okay, next let us explore what exactly the internal computer hardware components are so internal components collectively process or store the instructions delivered by the program or operating system so these includes uh, some components like the motherboard motherboard this is a printed circuit board that holds the central processing unit and other essential internal hardware and the functions okay that is fitted in the in, in the uh, central processing unit of your computer then the central processing unit so the uh, cpu is the brain of the computer that processes and executes digital instructions from various programs its clock speed determines the computer's performance and efficient and efficiency in a processing data the next component is the ram that is random access memory okay so that is also called as a dynamic ram it is a temporary memory which is uh, used to store the data that makes the information immediately accessible to the program that means whatever the data is stored in the ram that is random access memory which will be easily accessible to the user this ram is a volatile memory volatile uh, that means that can be cleared when the computer powers off that will not be stored permanently next the hardware hard drive okay so hard drive uh, are the physical storage devices that store both permanent and the temporary data in a different format so for storing this hard drive have two option that is permanent data storage and the temporary data storage and the last one is the heat sink that manages or reduces the amount of temperature for the particular uh, uh, cpu to process or to um, function it properly so this is a passive piece of the hardware that draws heat away from the components to regulate or to reduce their temperature to help ensure they continue to function properly 